use symbols to compare less than, greater than, and equal to. Lesson 7.3. We can use symbols to show how numbers compare. This symbol is, is greater than. This is less than. This is the symbol for is equal to. You can also look at it as the big mouth eats the big number. Wherever the mouth is open is towards the bigger number. The tip, this little tip, the sharp point, the back of his head faces the smaller number. The open side faces the larger number. See? Here's the smaller number and it's the back of his head. So it would be like the tip of the symbol. 27 is less than 28. So the tip is facing the smaller number and the open part is facing the larger number. 28 is greater than 27. The open side is facing the larger number. This little tip is facing the smaller number. 26 is less than 28. We have two tens and we have two tens, so we compare the ones. This has six ones, this has eight ones, Six ones is less than eight ones, so 26 is less than 28. Here we have two tens, and here we have two tens. We have eight ones, and we have eight ones, 28 and 28. 28 is equal to 28. It's the same number. We write 28 is equal to 28. We compare the tens. If they are the same, we compare the ones. And if they're the same, the numbers are equal. Here we have three tens, and here we have two tens. We have 36 and 28. Three tens is more than two tens, so 36 is greater than 28. We can write 36 is greater than 28. We compared the tens to find the greater number. Here we have two tens and here we have two tens. Here we have four ones and here we have two ones. Four ones is more than two ones, so 24 is greater than 22. We can write 24 is greater than 22. We compare the tens. If they are the same, then compare the ones. We can see 4 is more than 2, so we know 24 is greater than 22. We can draw to show each number. We can write less than, greater than, or equal to. We can complete the sentence. We have a 36 and a 42. The first thing we do is compare the tens. We have three tens and we have four tens. Is 36 less than, greater than, or equal to 42? Three is less than four, so 36 is less than 42. We can write 36 is less than 42. Let's try this one. We have a 19 and a 19. They're the same number. They have the same tens and they have the same ones. 19 is equal to 19. We can write 19 is equal to 19. Here we have 55 and 45. First we compare the tens. This has five tens, this has four tens, and five is more than four, 
that means 55 is greater than 45. And we can write 55 is greater than 45. Here we have 83 and 88. They have the same number of tens. They both have eight tens. So we compare the ones. 83 has three ones. 88 has eight ones. Is 83 less than, greater than, or equal to 88? 83 is less than. We put the point facing the small number 83 and the big open side facing the larger number. 83 is less than 88. We can write this. 83 is less than 88. It says, use symbols. Write less than, greater than, or equal. One long squiggle is equal to a 10. One little dot is equal to a 1. We have five tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 3, and here we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1. Is 53 less than, greater than, or equal to 51? They have the same number of tens, so we look at the ones. 3 is more than 1, so 53 is greater than 51. Here we have 86, and here we have 89. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, and here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. We look at the tens, they have the same amount of tens, so we look at the ones. This has six ones, this has nine ones. Six is less than nine, so 86 is less than 89. Here we have 74, we have seven tens and four ones, and here we have seven tens and four ones. We have the same number of tens. We have the same number of ones. So they are equal to each other. 74 is equal to 74. Emma and Tala bake cookies. Emma has 43 cookies. Tala has 29 cookies. 36 cookies are needed to fill a box. Who has enough cookies to fill a box? Is it Emma or Tala? Who has enough cookies to put in that box? Emma has 43. Tala has 29. We compare the tens. Emma has four tens. Tala has two tens. 43 is greater than 29, and 43 is greater than 36. So Emma has enough to put in that box. 29 is less than 36, so that's not enough. So who has enough cookies to fill a box? Emma. Emma has enough. She has more than enough. Maybe she can give some to Tala and they can count and see if they have enough to fill another box, right? Write a number to make it true. 84 is equal to 
it would have to have the same tens and ones, so it would be equal to 84. We can write any number to make it true. 78 is greater than, we need to think of a number that 78 is bigger than. 78 is bigger than 77, isn't it? And 76 and 75 and 74, we could choose any number that would be less than 78 and 78 would be greater than it, wouldn't it? 62 is less than, we could think of any number that's bigger than 62. 62 is less than 63, isn't it? And 64 and 65 and 66, and we could keep going on with bigger numbers because 62 is smaller than all of those numbers. It's less than all of those numbers. 50 is less than some number. We could use any number that is bigger than a 50 because 50 will be smaller than it. We could say 51, couldn't we? We could say 52, 53, 54. We could say 100. 50 is smaller than 100, isn't it? Any of those numbers would make it true. 99 is equal to, it has to have the same tens and ones because it's an is equal to sign, so it would be 99. 99 is equal to 99. Circle the greater number, write the numbers. Which is greater, 74 or 47? We look at the tens, 74 has seven tens, 47 has only four tens. Do you know the greater number? If you said 74, you're right. 74 is greater than 47. We can write it with the symbol. 74 is greater than 47. Circle the number that makes sense. So we have to think about what would make sense or what would sound silly. We want to circle the number that makes sense. There are two or 20 doors on the house. Which makes more sense? Would someone's house have two doors or 20 doors? If you said two doors, you're right. Maybe an apartment building or a big office building might have a lot of doors, but a house would have two doors. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? How about this one? Grandmother is 17 or 71 years old. Well, 17 means she's a teenager. Would grandmother be a teenager? That doesn't make sense. That would be silly if she was 17. Grandmother is 71 years old makes more sense, doesn't it? Bob has three or 30 brothers. Which one makes more sense? That would be a lot of brothers, wouldn't it? Three brothers would make more sense than 30 brothers. Dave ate four or 48 pancakes for breakfast. Which one makes more sense? 48 pancakes would be an awful lot of pancakes for a breakfast. That could feed a lot of people. Dave ate four makes more sense. Our next video Lesson is Problem Solving Compare Numbers. That's Lesson 7.4. This is the end of our video, and I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.